Hey everybody, it's Woo Make Creations here. Sherry behind the camera and G right there in front of it and she's gonna show us what we're doing today. So today we're gonna do a tutorial for this cute uh, drawstring charity bag that we are going to um, stuff with little cards and games and silly putty and little toys for the police officers to pass out to ages like from four to 12 when there's some kind of tragic thing going on and they have children present that they can have these in the trunks of their cars and give the bags out for the children to, to have something good to associate with the cops instead of something bad. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, G. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is have um, a piece of fabric that's folded and you're gonna lay your bony template on the fold of the fabric, which I accidentally already cut all the fabric that I was gonna show today. So um, anyway, you're gonna, you're gonna cut all around and then you'll have a bony and then you're gonna place it here and just take and and cut off the free edge, uh, the folded edge from here, just a slither, just to make it in two pieces, like that. So then you're gonna have two pieces. Then you wanna mark um, on, on here two inches from this fold. So you can do it from your, since it's laying right here on your mat, you can mark two inches down. And this is where, um, we can, we can even draw a line if we want to from, from there to there, but anyway, just like that. So now it's two inches from this cut edge. First thing we're gonna do is take it to our machine and zigzag stitch. Now, if you have a serger, you can go and serge this whole edge, um, each piece. So we're gonna take and zigzag it, because I don't have my serger yet, two inches, uh, Away, from, away the... from that cut edge. And that's what we're going to zigzag. And we'll be right back. Okay, everybody. This is G at the sewing machine. And she's going to show just how she's zigzagging that yeah. edge. So I'm just going down to my mark. And then um, that's it. And then this side, I'll start here at my mark. And just zigzag the edge. And that's it. It's kind of hard to zigzag when you just got one piece of fabric, but it's just so when we fold this, it's the raw edges won't be shown. Like I said, if you have a um, surging machine, a serger, then it would look a lot better. So anyway, you're just gonna serge both of those edges and then we're gonna take this to the iron and we're gonna fold this down about a quarter of an inch and iron it and then fold it again on itself and iron it. And then we'll be back to the sewing machine. Okay, G. Okay, so this is after you've zigzagged it, come to your ironing space and curl this down about a quarter of an inch. And then um, again on itself. Okay, and you'll do that to both sides. So. Sounds like Gordo's building the house again. <laughs> <laughs> there. Actually, he's cutting and, down trees. Oh. Okay. And then just on itself again. Now that hides all those raw edges. Okay, so now we'll take these to the machine and we will sew as close to this edge as we can to get this um, tacked Secure. down. Yeah, so you'll just uh, make sure your needle just goes right by the edge of here and get, get it tacked down. Okay, so here's G just sewing as close to that um, edge, as, edge possible. as possible. Just do that to both both pieces. Get this one going. 
That way this is tacked down. And then you're gonna go back over to the iron and just iron this down, down to the line that you had previously marked and get that, just tack that down like that, down to your previous marking and iron it down. Then it's gonna look like this. I have, I have a couple here. So this is once we've ironed it. Okay, oops, I put these together wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't sew that yet. So you're gonna have your two pieces like this. You're gonna face them right sides together. And just line them up as best you can. And then you're going to start sewing on that mark that you previously did at a quarter inch and sew this all the way around from mark to mark, okay? With a quarter inch seam. Okay, so here's G going from mark to mark all the way around. Okay, at a quarter inch. And just start your stitch and just back it up a couple times. And just sew this a quarter inch um, all the way around and get it back to your other mark. My machine has an automatic lift for when I stop, so that's cool. Which I cannot wait to get. It's a great feature. Um, and then just come on up to meet that other mark that you had. And then you'll want to back stitch it a couple times. And now, okay, so there she is. She has gone all the way around with the from cord. mark to mark. Yeah. And so if you have pinking shears, you can do this with pinking shears. Or of course, if you have a serger, you can serge the edges. But um, I'm just going to take these pinking shears and you know pretty up the inside of the bag a little bit. And. These probably aren't the best quality pinking shears, but that's what I had. I didn't even know we had those in a sweatshop. We, we actually have two pairs, so, because I bought one and didn't care for them, and I bought them the same daggone ones again. <laughs> that's what happens when you buy online. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going around here, just showing, just prettying up these edges a little bit. All right, so that's that. Just makes the inside of the bag a little better. So now... So obviously that's a step you don't really have to take. You don't have to, but... Because if people don't have pinking shears, then... Then that's okay. Okay. Or they can zigzag the edges if they want to, too. Okay, and I'll be back to show you what to do next. So now Jeden took off her table yeah. And now you can see all the crap that was underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so she took it off so she could get to that what is that arm or something. Yeah. Like that. That's so that we we can go around this. So what we're going to do is just go again close to this edge, but we're going to do it the whole way around this bag. So let me move my needle over so I can do that more easily. Okay, I wasn't really ready for you to film yet, but okay. Okay, so we're gonna start right here, close to the edge of this um, edge here, back up just a little bit. And when you get to this seam here where, where it's open, just just go right across it like as if it were there. There you go again with a cross. That makes me crazy when you put a T on the end I of the cross. I am not saying a cross. I'm saying a cross. But you always think I'm adding a letter to it. You are. No, it I'm not. Me nuts. Well, I'm not doing that. 
So, are you zooming in how I'm doing this? Just yeah. holding this together and going right across here. How about that? Across here. There, that's better. Okay. And we're coming up on where we started. And then you're done. Cut that off, and then the next part we will Let show. Let me show that up close once you get it out from under that. Okay, so this is what this looks like because now it's all sewn in. So now we're Wait, gonna show that edge at the opening, yeah. Yeah, so I just went, went straight across there. So now your bag is done except for the drawstring. So just push it out. You can also do this with a rectangular. I, I started one with an eight and a half. Let me show, just show that real quick. I started with a, just a rectangular piece, um, eight and a half by 11, and used the same measurements as my fold down pieces. I just didn't finish this off yet. Okay, so this is your bag, and now we will thread up some, some ribbon and show you how to pass it through to make it the drawstring bag. Okay, so here she is at the machine, cutting ribbon. Okay, so I cut me two strips, about 19 inches long. This is just some ribbon I had around here, and it is 5 eighths inches wide. Let me, okay. let me zoom in. Yeah. Okay, so um, you can use whatever you have convenient. You can use shoestrings, you can use uh, leftover binding so we're i just put a, a safety pin in here i'm going to thread it through one of these holes and just make it go all the way through like this and when i get to an opening i'm just going to go right on into the next side because i want to come out on the same side that i started on of course on the other side so i got that right so we can tie this in a knot right here at the edge of the bag and double knot it. Okay. And now we'll take the other piece and start it on the opposite end and um, feed it through when you come to the side with the ribbon already in it, you're just going to bypass that and go straight to the other side. See here? Just You don't even have to pull it out. Just keep it going through there. They're going to intersect inside the bag, which is fine, because the effect is going to be great. So we're going to pull this through about the same length out of the bag. Now we're going to tie this in a knot once and knot twice. Now you can just pull on the strings and there's your cute little drawstring bag that will bring much joy to anyone who receives it. You can use this for gifts or anything, but this purpose of making this one was for charity, but um, you can use this as a little birthday gifts or something when your kids come home and tell you they've got a birthday party that they need right away. You can see how fast it is to make them. So you can just remove these. Now, I know that some people burn the ends of ribbons to make them not fray. I uh, will probably not do that because I'm accident prone. <laughs> uh, or I'll have my husband do it, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'll be sure to be burnt up. But um, I even tied other knots. Oh, here's, here's another bag for an example. But you'll see I've got many, many cut and I just chain sew each... Uh, each step of the way and look at all these that I have ready. A bunch of kid fabrics. 
Because when um, we make stuff, we make a hundred of them. Yeah, so I have a bunch in progress here, and it's just a quick, easy, nice thing to do.